Okay, a bit of drop of solvent on there, and then we'll just tappy tap tap. That came loose. There are two screws in the film cassette well. Let's just collapse those struts while I fight with this. These may or may not be tight. No, that one's loose. And so is its mate. The strut should lift out now. Oh, get there. The shutter release mechanism here is very good at getting trapped underneath and stopping things from moving. Here we go. Lift that off. Recover that spring. Here is a spacer washer there. There's probably one under the top as well. Yes, there was. A space between the arm here and the casting. Right, so there... Yeah, that's probably it. I'll look at those bellows and try and determine if there's any sign of them coming adrift from the casting. They don't look like it doesn't look like there's a problem there. I'll also check them to see if they look relatively light tight. They certainly look in a good condition. But otherwise there's not much needs to be done to this body except of course I will make it my business to remove these scraps of glue and uh, leather that's still stuck on the base of the camera. I'd like a nice clean surface there to glue back to. While that pile of uh, parts is sitting there mouldering, I'm going to have a look at this front door. I really want this leather off in one piece, preferably. So I can do a good job of gluing it back here. It's pretty fragmented, it's, it's dry. It's got about as much structural strength as wet newspaper. And the glue job here doesn't help. Because those parts may be stuck fairly well. But they haven't been stuck. I think the positioning could have been better. Oh, that's... I don't think that's going to come off. I think I'm going to have to work with what's here. Yeah, it's the parts that are glued back that are going to cause me trouble. The stuff that was already on the camera and would have been loose that I can deal with. It's this piece is being glued back with something and I don't know what. I'll see if naphtha makes any in impression on it. I really need to get that piece of leather off In one piece, because all of this is so fragile. Yeah, it seems to have helped.
Yeah, that softened up that glue. I can see it liquefying. Okay. So yes, it's coming off in pieces. There's one piece. That's the second piece. Oh, I'll have to get the glue off the back of that. And it's mate. And the third piece here. Oh, it's gooey. Whatever that adhesive was, it's very gooey. What about this? Now that's part of the leather that stayed on the camera. It's got a bit of glue underneath it. That's well, it's like a it's a clear adhesive, a bit rubbery. Um, Bostic comes to mind. Okay. I'll pop that to one side. I'll see if I can clean up these patches that have been glued back. The, the original adhesive was probably, um, I don't know it was shellac, it looks like shellac but I suspect it was something more like resorcinol, I think it was probably more likely a formaldehyde based adhesive. It doesn't just dissolve with, with um, alcohol and of course shellac would. So all I'm removing here is the recent adhesive that's been put on here. It's that's pretty bad. Let us squirt even. And what I'm using here to soften this adhesive is CRC. Electroclean heavy duty, which is somewhat more aggressive than naphtha, and I use it for doing tasks like this, where you're trying to get it old adhesive off. It's very good at getting old particularly hard and dried grease it'll get rid of that quite well too okay and that last fragment there I'll deal with that And I'll 
clean up this door somewhat. It's, it's clear that adhesive, it's it's certainly sticky but it's not quite the right thing. If I can get this all down clean and the surface is level, I can glue that let those scraps of leather back in place and Fill the voids with some uh, wax once it's all in place. As I said, normally I would want to remove this leather completely from here because it would be easy to deal with but uh, yes, that, that, that adhesive is all over the edges I don't really have that luxury, it's so fragile that it it would be off in 10 pieces if I tried to get it off it's already bad enough with the three little scraps I've got to deal with there That half looks quite good. I've got to deal with the top half now. The pieces that are left on here, I'm not sure how much of that glue is up underneath them, so I really need them cleaned back to the leather before I glue them back in place. Alright, I think that's as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to clean under those loose edges with a bit of naphtha. I'll use this stuff actually. Under the loose edges to remove any grease or oil. So that the adhesive will stick this well. little tiny fragments of leather coming away and I'm concerned if they get stuck underneath one of these pieces that nothing will lie down flat this there's a piece missing here I'm gonna to have to cut a patch into there anyway regardless oh yeah it's Okay. 
Right, well, I think I'm ready to uh, start gluing that back together. The first thing I'm going to do is glue the leather back that's already on the door and then see about patching putting those little patches back in place I'm being rather generous with this adhesive because I want to make sure that everything gets well stuck. Okay. Clean away the excess with a bit of uh, naphtha on a cotton bud. That's the, the squeeze out you might say. So with the naphtha I'm just removing the, the adhesive from the surface of the leather where it's squeezed out and contaminated it and at the edges where it's squeezed out of course and I'll press that leather down firmly piece just came adrift then in my hand. Let's see if I can position that a bit better. That's better. The stuff is very fragile. That won't be a problem once the glue has done its job it'll be stuck on there as well as a coat of paint would be stuck on there. It won't matter that it's physically not robust it'll be supported by the substrate problem is you get the adhesive on your fingers it, it, it wants to stick to the to the leather and pull it away while you're trying to push it down into place. I'm just using the tail of my pair of tweezers here to 
make sure that leather is pressed down firmly in contact with the metal. Well that looks quite good, that's the top top half. Let's see if I can tidy it up around the corner here a bit. That's good. Alright, that's that corner back in place. I've got to cut a small patch to cover that missing piece there. I've got to do exactly the same job to this bottom edge and corner now. Basically just pushing some adhesive in underneath and getting it all firmly pressed down into place so that this is robust. Once I've got this nice and robust and it's all fixed in place I can come back and glue those little patches in place to fill up this gap but um, I want to use as much of the original as possible the owner is enthusiastic that the camera is original The, there's a crack here, I've got to get the edges of that crack aligned better so that it lies down flat I'm still seeing bits of that adhesive that had been used previously here um, obviously didn't get rid of all of that, it must have been well spread To say this was tacking down well but it's 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 not really what about the other piece that, that's that's gone well I suppose this will this will come right keeps lifting it, so oh, that, that's where the, the crack is, it keeps lifting at that point. Well I think I'm going to have to leave that there for 10 minutes while I let that glue set up a little bit and um, come back and 
patch the missing bits.